Well, hello everybody. Welcome to another episode of Reality Is, where words do come to life. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you too can know when I upload other videos. Well, Apple decided to do a software update. Isn't that interesting? I thought that was too. And <clears throat> so, um, it didn't do it last night because my phone was not plugged to the charger so I plugged my phone to the charger and I allow it I allowed it to update um, to fix all the bugs and the, you know the glitches that's in the system and so later on <laughs> later on I'm sitting and I have my watch on my left arm and I have my cell phone in my right hand right my watch rings now my phone is in my hand which my watch is sync to my cell phone and usually you know the watch is supposed to work if you leave your phone at home you know you still get calls on your watch well I'm sitting as I've said with my phone in my hand and my watch on my left arm and I got my earbuds attached to my phone. And so the phone is ringing. I feel it buzzing on my arm, but it's not buzzing on the phone. And I'm looking at my watch and then I'm looking at my phone and I'm like, okay, well, why is my watch ringing and my phone is not ringing in my hand? Now, this is after I did the update on the phone. Oh, and so earlier, um, FaceTime with my family. Call, made the call, screen black. They can see me, they can hear me, but the screen is black. Mm -mm. So I said, well, hang up and you call me. So the call comes in, screen black. They can see me. They can hear me. Hang up the phone again. Let's try this for a third time. It's a charm, right? So we try it for a third time. It's a charm. The call goes, the FaceTime goes through. But pause is stuck on the screen. Now, I, it's got like this um, overlay on top of the FaceTime. I can see my niece. I can hear her talking. I can see her talking. She can see me. I can see her. Not as clear because it got this overlay and in the middle of the overlay it says paused. Now ain't nobody paused but it says pause. So you know what I decided to do? I decided to screen record. That's what I decided to do. Then I noticed something else on my phone. Um, when I uh, got up today I noticed that my um, my apps you know how when you load in your apps back on your phone and they start to, to get that little circle where they go around and around and around I noticed that my apps were um, reloading on my phone now the update wasn't going on none of that was going on at all and so I'm wondering you know, why would my apps be reloading on my phone? Thought that was strange. But that's what happened today with the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Isn't that interesting? Three times FaceTime, twice the screen is black. My relative can see me and they can hear me, but I can't see them. I made They made the call in. I made the call back out. Doesn't matter. It still did not work on Wi-Fi or mobile. And then the third time when the phone call does actually connect, I can see her. She can see me clearly, but she has an overlay over her face and it says pause. So how can the phone be paused if we're talking to each other? Apple, help me understand that. Do your engineers have any answer to that? Do they? Because all this shit that I'm going through is really ridiculous. And I'm so sick of it. I don't know what it's going to take. 
but I keep telling you I'm going to do a video every time I'm experiencing something with this phone until you all step up to the plate and do what you need to do you can upload as many software updates bugs and fixes all you want to there is something wrong with this phone this one right here the one that's clearly covered and protected there's something wrong with this phone and you need to fix it because i'm not that you put another hold on my card for nothing I'm not going back to another store because I'm tired. How many times must I go back to the Apple store to have them to run diagnostics? How many times? You didn't did network reset. You didn't have me strip my phone. You didn't have me do all kinds of things. You told me not to load back to the I, load back from the iCloud because there potentially could have been something in the iCloud. Didn't load back from the iCloud. And the last time I let you all strip my phone completely. And I had to sit for about two hours to manually put all of my apps back on my phone. Because you stripped it. And even in the test, in the store, online, uh, virtually with your customer service, your supervisor, your technicians. They run diagnostics and they can't find anything. Matter of fact, even one time we was trying to run diagnostics and it wouldn't even connect. I couldn't even get the permission to confirm to connect. And no matter how they try, it didn't go away. So you know what we had to do? We had to go through the computer to get to some connectivity. And that still didn't work all the way. So again, your engineers are trying to make this seem like I, the customer, is causing these issues. And that right there is the shit I don't like. Because like I said, these damn phones cost too damn much for me to go through all the hell I've been going through. And it's ridiculous. And I'm just waiting for something else to go wrong. And I really need this phone and it don't work. Then I'm going to come back with a vengeance. And I'm not playing. I want you to understand me real good. And if Verizon, if you're listening, then you should know this too. Compensation. I, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Your, your policy of 14 days for a new phone out of the box is ridiculous. If I have a problem... And I purchase a new phone out of the box. I don't give a damn if it's 14 days. If I got a problem and I purchase from you, my cell phone provider, and I tell you that I have a problem, why would I want you to give me a refurbished phone when I bought the damn phone new? How does that make sense? Make it make sense for me because it don't make sense to me. It don't. And you're not losing nothing because what you do is you all do and you think we the consumers is stupid. You take these phones back. You strip them down and you recycle them. So when somebody else from uh, another state or city they use the same service, they have a problem. You take these refurbished phones that we had problems with and you give them to somebody else knowing that they're defective. I'm sure that's what you all are doing. And we're paying monthly payments for insurance for what? If I'm paying insurance on a phone, if there's a problem, then damn it, I need a new phone. I don't need a refurbished phone. I need a new phone. That's what I had the problem with, with the new phone. Not an old phone. It was new. So why would I want to get somebody else's problem to add to the problems I already got? Help that make sense to me. Because it doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. Please help it to make sense. I'm trying to understand this. And I'm not getting no good understanding. So somebody help me to make sense of what the hell is going on here. Because I'm, I'm really lost. I'm really lost. Because these companies seem to think that we're stupid as consumers. And I don't like that. I don't like that whatsoever. All right. Subscribe, hit that notification bell, let me know what you think. Leave your comments, ask your questions. Let's talk about it. I'm sure I'm not the only one having these problems, but I'm the only one that's bold enough to say that I'm having these problems. And when it comes down to $1,200, I'm going to talk all damn day. $1,200 worth of conversation plus some. Because this is how much hell I've been getting since last year. Last year. This is ridiculous. All right, have a good one until we talk again.